In this video, we're learning how to add and subtract numbers that are written in scientific notation. So if we take a look at example one, we have 4.3 times 10 to the fifth plus two times 10 to the fifth. Now, if both of your numbers in scientific notation are being multiplied by 10 to the same power, adding and subtracting them is pretty easy. So we can just add the two numbers in front, and I'm gonna show you guys why this works. So the reason this works is because both of our numbers, 4.3 and 2, are being multiplied by the same thing. They're being multiplied by 10 to the fifth. So what we can do is pull out a 10 to the fifth, so we're gonna factor it out, and we're left with 4.3 plus 2. And if this doesn't really make sense, I'm gonna show you guys why this works using something that you may be more familiar with, which is x's. So it's similar to this. Let's say we have 4.3 times x, plus two times x. You guys probably know that we can just add the two coefficients in front of the x. So we can just add 4.3 and two, and we get 6.3x. The reason this works is because if we factor out an x, we have x times 4.3 plus two, and then order of operations says we can add what's in the parentheses first. So we get x times 6.3, which is the same as 6.3x. So that's similar to what we're doing in example one. We're just factoring out this 10 to the fifth. So now I'm gonna go back up to example one. So we can add 4.3 and two, and we're gonna have 10 to the fifth times 6.3. And in multiplication, we can write our multiplication in any order we want. So we can write this as 6.3 times 10 to the fifth. And our answer is in scientific notation. So if you're multiplying both numbers by the same power of 10, you can just add or subtract the numbers in front. So let me show you guys this again with example two. So in example two, we have 9.3 times 10 to the negative 10th minus seven times 10 to the negative 10th. So again, we're multiplying 9.3 and seven by the same thing. So what we can do is just subtract these two numbers. So 9.3 minus seven is going to be 2.3, and we can just multiply that by our power of 10. So times 10 to the negative 10th. So we get 2.3 times 10 to the negative 10th as our answer. Let's go through some examples where our numbers are not being multiplied by the same power of 10. So in example three, we have 5.6 times 10 to the seventh minus 2.4 times 10 to the fifth. Now this time we can't use the shortcut that we used in examples one and two because our first number, 5.6, is being multiplied by 10 to the seventh, but our second one, 2.4, is being multiplied by 10 to the fifth. So what we want to do first is make each number multiplied by the same power of 10. So I always like to change the smaller exponent into the larger exponent. So I want to change 10 to the fifth into 10 to the seventh. So what I'm gonna do is, if I wanna change 10 to the fifth into 10 to the seventh, I have to multiply by 10 to the second, right? I have to multiply by 10 two more times. In order to keep this number the same, that means I have to divide 2.4 by 10 to the second. So I'm gonna say that again. I need to change 10 to the fifth into 10 to the seventh. So I need to multiply it by 10 squared. In order to keep my original number the same, I need to divide the 2.4 by 10 squared. So I'm gonna show you guys what happens. If I wanna divide 2.4 by 10 squared, I need to move the decimal point two places to the left. So it becomes 0 0.024. And when I multiply 10 to the fifth times 10 squared, it becomes 10 to the seventh. So 2.4 times 10 to the fifth is the same as 0 0.024 times 10 to the seventh. I'm gonna keep my original number the same, so I have 5.6 times 10 to the seventh. And now what we're gonna do is we can just subtract the two numbers in front. And for the sake of time, I'm just gonna use a calculator to subtract 5.6 minus 0 0.024, and that's gonna end up as 5.576. And because both of our numbers are being multiplied by 10 to the seventh, we can just tack that on at the end so we're gonna multiply by 10 to the seventh. So we get 5.576 times 10 to the seventh as our answer. Let's jump into example four, which is 9.82 times 10 to the third 
plus 4.3 times 10 to the sixth. So again, I like to change my smaller exponent into my bigger exponent. So I want to change 10 to the third into 10 to the sixth. I have to multiply 10 to the third by 10 to the third, which means I have to divide the other part of my number by 10 to the third. When you divide by powers of 10, or positive powers of 10, you're going to move the decimal point to the left, however many times the exponent is. So if we divide 9.82 by 10 to the third, we need to move our decimal point three places to the left. So we're going to get 0 0.00982, and 10 to the third times 10 to the third is 10 to the sixth. And now we're going to keep 4.3 times 10 to the sixth as it is, and now because we have 10 to the sixth multiplied by both of our numbers, we can just add these two numbers in front. And if we add 0 0.00982 and 4.3, we're going to get 4.30982. And we can just multiply this by 10 to the sixth. So we get 4.30982 times 10 to the sixth as our answer. Let's go through some examples that have negative exponents. So example 5 is 1.57 times 10 to the negative second plus 3.8 times 10 to the negative third. Again, I want to raise my smaller exponent, so negative 3, I want to bring that up to my bigger exponent of negative 2. So in order to do that, to get from 10 to the negative third to 10 to the negative second, I have to multiply by 10 to the first, which means I have to divide my other part of my number, 3.8, by 10 to the first. When I divide by a positive power of 10, I need to move the decimal point however many times the exponent is. We're going to move it to the left. So I'm going to move the decimal point in 3.8 to the left one time to get 0 0.38. And 10 to the negative third times 10 to the first is 10 to the negative second. I'm going to keep my first number as is, so 1.57 times 10 to the negative second. And now because our powers of 10 are the same, we can just add these two numbers in front. And if we add 1.57 plus 0 0.38, we will get 1.95. And then we're just going to multiply this by 10 to the negative second. So we get 1.95 times 10 to the negative second. Moving on to example 6, we have 7.816 times 10 to the negative fourth minus 5.2 times 10 to the negative seventh. So I want to change 10 to the negative 7th into 10 to the negative 4th. So to do that, I need to multiply by 10 to the 3rd, which means I need to divide 5.2 by 10 to the 3rd. When I divide 5.2 by 10 to the 3rd, I want to move my decimal point 3 places to the left. So if I do that, I get 0 0.0052, and 10 to the negative 7th times 10 to the 3rd, is 10 to the negative fourth. And I'm going to keep my first number the same, so we have 7.816 times 10 to the negative fourth. And now because our powers of 10 are the same, we are just going to subtract these two numbers in front. And if we subtract those, we should get 7.8108. And we're just going to multiply this by 10 to the negative fourth. So we get 7.8108 times 10 to the negative fourth as our answer. Let's go through two more examples. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can watch me work through them to make sure that you've done them correctly. So example 7 is 8.46 times 10 to the 15th minus 6.3 times 10 to the 12th. So I want to change 10 to the 12th into 10 to the 15th. So to do that, I need to multiply it by 10 to the third, which means I have to divide 6.3 by 10 to the third to keep my number the same. When I divide 6.3 by 10 to the third, I'm going to move the decimal point three places to the left to get 0 0.0063. 10 to the twelfth times 10 to the third is going to give me 10 to the fifteenth. I'm going to keep my first number as it is, so 8.46 times 10 to the 15th, and now our powers of 10 are the same, so we can just subtract the two numbers in front. 
And if I subtract 8.46 minus 0 0.0063, I should get 8.4537. And we're just going to multiply this by 10 to the 15th. So we get 8.4537 times 10 to the 15th as our answer. And finally, taking a look at our last example, we have 2.98 times 10 to the negative 11th plus 5 times 10 to the negative 9th. So I want to change 10 to the negative 11th into 10 to the negative 9th. So I'm going to do that by multiplying by 10 squared, which means I have to divide 2.98 by 10 squared. When I divide 2.98 by 10 squared, I'm going to move the decimal point two places to the left to get 0 0.0298. 10 to the negative 11th times 10 to the second is going to give me 10 to the negative 9th. And my second number stays as it is, so I have 5 times 10 to the negative 9th. And now both my powers of 10 are the same, so I'm just going to add these two numbers in front. If I add 0 0.0298 and 5, I get 5.0298. And we're going to multiply this by 10 to the negative 9th. So I get 5.0298 times 10 to the negative 9th as my answer. So hopefully this video helped you guys learn how to add and subtract numbers in scientific notation. If you want more practice on problems similar to the ones we went through today, check out the link in our description for a free worksheet.